Well, hello there, and welcome to the good news here on News 6's ClickOrlando.com and Facebook. So glad to have you. So many people I see out say, I don't watch the news anymore because nothing positive is on there. Well, guess what? I'm calling baloney on that today. We have seven great stories that have been going on all week here at News 6, and we begin with a Timber Creek High School student working at a sushi restaurant when she heard somebody choking. Wait until you hear what she did. Hard, like to get that out. And um, I did it 10 times. And yeah, I just came out. He threw up and I felt, I was like, whoa, <laughs> I did it. All that time studying for that exams, all that practice, you know, at the end it's really worth it. If you're ever choking on sushi, you better hope that young lady is around, that's for sure. Also in Avalon Park, a negative story turned into a positive. Two young girls were riding their bikes. They got freaked out. They thought this guy was going to attack them, but they got away. And this dad, who really had nothing to do with the story, decided he wanted to raise some money and help every kid in the community. Check it out. Joe Canetti and his three children moved to Avalon Park just two weeks ago. Instead of focusing on unpacking, his attention is outfitting every child with one of these. I know that in Great Britain, every, you know, all of the police use whistles. And that's because when you blow a whistle, people tend to look and pay attention. He started a GoFundMe page after he read about the attempted abduction earlier this week. His goal was to raise $690 to buy 1,000 whistles. In just two days, he surpassed that amount, raising more than $1,000. People really love the idea. Everyone's been really positive about it um, because it's an extra line of defense. And I just so happened to have a little update on this story. They were able to raise enough money to buy 1,325 whistles for the kids in Avalon Park. Well done, Dad. Also, don't know if you've heard, WrestleMania is here, and they came in and took over Lake Eola this week. Check out sports director David Pingalore. It's not a belt. It's the Wrestling Mania title. 33 comes to Camping World Stadium April 2nd. Tom, what did you say? It's a belt. No, it's, like a, it's, a, like a, it's belt. a title they call it's it. It's a title belt. And no, it's like your belt goes around your waist for crying out loud. What does that go? That okay, that, that cannot go around your waist. 30 feet wide, 12 <laughs> feet tall, and will be on display at Lake Eola in downtown Orlando through April 2nd. The event is expected to bring in more than $125 million to the economy of Central Florida. Sunday. Up next, somebody who could definitely take ping in a wrestling match any day of the week. He's a first grader, and he decided he wanted to raise money to make sure all of his friends could afford lunch. How about this kid? I was just a baby boy. My mama used to tell me these crazy things. Meet Peyton McGee. He's your typical seven-year-old boy. Wild, with a ton of energy. Loves the camera and our microphone. Peyton out. Have a good day. Did I mention he raps? This kid raps too and raises money for his buddy's lunch? Are you kidding me? Tell me there's no good news here in Central Florida. Okay, this next one. Since we're in Florida, I want to talk about gators and a sinkhole. And I know what you're thinking, Matt. That's not good news. Here's the good news. You're not in it. If you ever want to know where the monster gators are in Florida lakes, you can always head to clickorlando.com. I did a big investigation last year where we put out the counts for the big gators in all the lakes. You should check it out if you're ever curious or if you're ever going water skiing in a strange place. Also, uh, how about this one? Volusia County deputies just reached out. I want to show you this picture. They helped out these kids. Their basketball hoop was stolen. And then the deputies tweeted out, hey, we have an extra basketball hoop. So they dropped it off at the kid's house, played a little basketball with them, and that is some good news. One more for you. I'll tell you, the sushi at Walmart really seems to be going downhill. Here's a picture of what they found at a St. Augustine Walmart. That is a five-foot-long shark in a shopping cart. You want to hear the crazy part? That is not the first one they have found there. So <laughs> why is that good news? Well, I don't know, but it sure seemed like something that happened in Florida. Thank you. So if you like this, if you were interested in these stories and you do like the good stuff, prove it, share it, like it, comment on it. Even if you're a troll, 
Come on, take your shots, baby. I want some. This has been the good news. I'm Matt Austin. This is News 6, getting results.